Okay, we are now live with another episode of DJ Loud and JY for the lulls. Uh, yeah, it's only, it's only been, it's only been, it's been like two weeks. Four weeks. weeks. No, four I weeks. think it's only been two weeks. I think it's four been, weeks, which is like already way better than what I promised of at least once per month. Because you know, once per month is being considerate to the viewers because we don't want them to be like spending so much time watching. Oh, uh, we our our right. viewership has already dropped from. I mean, our our peak video viewership was like thirty views, and then the last video got like four. So I think I people have people have. <laughs> People have realized that this podcast sucks. <laughs> so it's all right. No, the, it's no, all right. No, the, the, the peak one was because the Pablo was there. It's fine. It's fine. Like not not every episode's gonna get like thousands of views. Yeah. It's okay. And actually, uh, I'm I'm gonna fact check you because I don't think that's true. I think okay. the yeah. um, the last time I saw it, it had like four between four and six views. I think not very like single digit views. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. But but that that's fine. That's because I'm not advertising these on the internet. So okay, so episode nine had ten and episode eight had twelve. So pretty decent, I think. Pretty good, exceeded my okay. expectations. Sure. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, for gameplay, uh, I ha- I'm uploading this onto YouTube still. So, but this is a crappy game called Demigod that I really enjoy. It's an ancient MOBA, um, like League of Legends and Dota two took over. But I always liked this one more because okay. it had a lot of innovative features. I thought. But I've never those, played any of those. I've never played any of those types of games. I should, maybe. I don't know. Oh no, no, they suck. But Demigod's good. But it, it's it's a dead game. So this is a video of me playing against the computer, and beating yeah. it to make myself feel better. It's good. Okay. All right. All right. So what are, so, what are we talking about today? Oh, I mean, uh, let's, let's catch up with you. I mean, you you're like, you're one month into fatherhood, right? Oh yeah, but you know, I I don't want to like spend all the time talking about I know. fatherhood. I know. It's just gonna bore like, the viewers. It's like yeah. I know, whatever. but like you. That's that's why we haven't been able to record. So your son's like, go and upload that video of your son crying for like. Yeah, I, I'm gonna splice it into this video <laughs> just, just so people get an idea. Uh, he he's really loud, but it's good because it means he's healthy. But the problem uh, is he so he's yeah. babies are supposed to sleep for like three to four hours at a time between feedings, but sometimes yeah. even after I feed my son, like he'll still shriek, and and like he's eating a lot. Like we're up to like four ounces sometimes now, which is actually yeah. a lot for a baby. So I, we're right. ready. He's gonna get morbidly obese. The pediatrician will let us know tomorrow. But yeah. Okay. Um, but the the thing is that like if he's shrieking, so we either feed him or just like try to calm him down without feeding him, and then you know yeah. that that it's a lose lose situation. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well. Wow. You, you know uh, how you know how uh, they 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 always um, in those news articles. Did, did I say this last time? Like. How babies shake, or, or parents shake their babies to death, and, and then yes, you, I mean you, yeah, there's a lot of bad those, parents out there. No, no, you read yeah. those news articles, you're like, oh, what's wrong with those people? But then you become uh-huh. a parent. Now, and, yeah, now you know. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Probably yeah. should say that on, on the record. Don't, don't record. That's well, a, my baby's still alive, so. Yeah. I uh oh yeah. So prior to this recording, I was talking to Jay, and I was like, you know, I think you can just give Benadryl to your son, and then he'll probably just fall asleep, right? Because that's what like people give to little kids before flights. And he was like, he's trying to fact check me. And yeah, I was pretty and suspicious. Then... <laughs> <laughs> and then I actually Googled it, right? Instead of like being a fake medical doctor, I don't have that kind of PhD degree. I don't have that kind of doctorate. And uh, turns out Benadryl is not recommended for children under six. So I'm glad that you didn't actually give your son Benadryl because I would have felt really bad if you killed your son because I gave you bad medical advice. Um, yeah. So that's my bad. That was, my that was bad. A good don't one. That was a good don't one. give your don't give your kids Benadryl, guys. I have done this multiple times. I I I don't know. I still don't think being a doctor is that hard. Um, no offense to all the medical doctors who listen to our show. Um, because it's, I don't know. I mean, I can memorize facts, right? I have a book. Um, anyways. Wait, are, are we going to uh, talk, talk about um, that one doctor? Or are, are we... Oh, uh, yeah. We should, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I So, whenever I go to the doctor, right? I'm like, I have this weird thing. I Do you go to the doctor frequently? Nope. That's okay. Point. So, you don't go for, like, an annual exam or anything? Oh, yeah. I, I go for that. But, like, for everything oh. else, there's WebMD. And, you know, it's, it's good enough. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah, like exactly. Like, I... I feel like every time I go to the doctor, um, the doctor never tells me anything that I don't already know. Exactly. That's how I feel about it. And exactly. so, um, the only I have... time you need to go to the doctor is if you're seeing a specialist. I feel like because the specialist, 
they, they've sure. seen enough yeah. of your condition that they should be able to right. like they can add some value but i think like a regular doctor like was pretty pretty useless like general practitioners yeah, i think general they're like, like pretty useless yeah. uh sorry like, to, to the general practitioners watching us i uh yeah i'm like sorry to offend you but also not super <laughs> sorry um yeah my our we have a friend a mutual friend from high school and he like he basically went to this crack doctor right who he he this is one of those you know how you watch those movies and like there's that one doctor in, or that guy in med school and he's only there because his dad's like the dean of medicine or something yeah. but he's like he's like a terrible like terrible person and he doesn't actually study he's just like he's just he's just in med school because his dad got him in right yeah. and that's this actually like this is actually true right Th this these situations actually arise um it's terrifying like my my partner's uncle right this i'm going off a tangent here but my partner's uncle uh used to teach medicine at usc right and i was talking to him about it and there was a student that he was supposed to flunk but the the head of the the, the department was basically like you can't flunk this kid because his dad donates a huge amount of money to us yeah and so this guy basically passed because his dad paid his way through right yeah and yeah. so this guy's this guy's treating people like without actually having the skills required right it's it's so weird man i don't know no so it's terrifying but i i have we have another friend um who actually we won't say his name but maybe he'll be a guest someday like he yeah maybe he, he was telling me like because he was a ta because he's doing a phd and like some of the students like one of the girls oh she, are you talking she, about dh yeah DH, talking about dh yeah, and um, and like this girl was drawing doodles of animals on her final, and he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her an F," and they're like, "No, no, 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 you can't give you can't give her an F." Like her her parents donate a lot of money, so he had to give yeah, her the man. minimum passing grade, which I guess is a D. Uh, <laughs> for us, it's a C. I don't know where okay, I teach. Okay. It's a C. Yeah. You get a C to get, take later classes, but yeah. that's that's very terrifying. Um, okay, so let's like, talk about the story about the oh. Yeah, so our friend, Sam, our friend Sam, which you know from like orchestra. Yeah. Um, he he got like a spider bite, right? And what's interesting is this exact same thing happened to me uh, when I was in grad school. So he got a spider bite, and it got infected, right? And so yeah. he um, he knew it got infected because he had a fever and it was really swollen and stuff. And so he went to the doctor, and he first of all. One of the reasons I don't go to the doctor is because when I end up in the waiting room, right, I, you, like, get checked out, and then you just sit in that room by yourself for, like, an hour. So then someone comes in, they talk to you for five minutes, and they don't really care. Then they leave. And then it's like, okay, I just wasted, I wasted, like, over an hour to get some information that I could have just looked up on the internet. Right, exactly. Anyways. Anyways, so he got, he got this infected spider bite, and the doctor apparently didn't even look at his arm and he was like you'll probably be fine he like he just looked at the what the nurse wrote down and he was like i think you'll be all right uh just take some tylenol when you need it for the pain and yeah you'll be fine and then and then our friend sam left right and he's like okay well i mean he's a doctor so what do i know right he didn't second guess it <laughs> so he goes he goes home and two days pass and when you know that an infection gets really bad is when there's this dark trail so he got it on his arm so there's this dark trail that went up his arm like towards his lymph nodes right and when your lymph nodes get that that means the infection is spreading and so he goes back to the doctor like two days later and the nurse is like um you, you need to go on very strong antibiotics because you might have to get your arm amputated so this doctor like didn't spend any time looking at his arm misdiagnosed him and God, almost been, cost almost cost sued. him his arm. He should have been sued. And so, so he went on this doctor's like you know his like web page and stuff, and it, I don't remember exactly what was written on there, but it was like, hey, I really want to be a doctor because it's awesome. You know, it was like it was like a really non, nondescript reasoning for why he wanted to be a doctor. It was just like, hey, helping people is awesome, or something stupid like that. Nasty. Yeah, Nasty, I know. Dude. Uh, I'm, I'm not saying there's not good doctors out there. Like, um, man, Sam should have sued that piece of garbage, man. <laughs> that, that, that makes me so enraged because he got away with it, basically, right? Like, the, the Sam, uh, yeah, 
Did Sam at I least mean, think, blast him? Because Sam's a nice guy. Like, I, I would have yeah. at least, like, blasted him. Or posted you, it on showyoucan.com or something, you know. Or there Facebook. was an article very... There's a very article really recently about, like, like how often mis, like, misdiagnoses actually, like, cost lives or patients, right? Because it happens all the time. Um, part of that's probably intentional. Or not... not I'm not saying intentional, but, like, um, part of that's just... You know they're actually trying to treat this person, but it's hard to figure out what it actually is, right? But I think some of it's just like negligence. I mean, I th- I'm sure a huge amount of it's negligence. I don't know. We can probably look up the stats. I mean, I'm not. I think so too because you're right. You're just going there, and then the nurse looks at you like she takes your blood pressure, weighs you, yeah. whatever, takes your height, yeah. and then makes you wait in the room. Doctor comes by for a couple minutes. Everything yeah. like I already, it's already on WebMD. Like there's nothing I don't know. <laughs> like. But I, I think the good thing is na- nowadays I can just directly uh, schedule appointments with the uh, the specialists. I think so. Yeah. If, if I ever do need surgery, then I can just go to a specialist. Yeah. Yeah, I, like because I'm talking about the specialist because I um I thought I had irritable bowel syndrome because I'm always like having these close call poops, right? Like we were talking. Oh about. yeah, we talked about the <laughs> episodes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just went to a specialist, and you know, actually now that I think about it, yeah. He did like a few tests, but he was just like, "No, you don't have it." But now, now I'm a little bit suspicious, actually, because he might have been a fake doctor too. Maybe I should get a second opinion. Um, oh, speaking of, this is a uh, kind of unrelated. Um, so, our, yeah, Pablo is going to Mexico in a few weeks nice. for his cousin's wedding. Um, I told him to go to the pharmacies there. Uh, so, for those who, you know, if you don't know. Uh, in Mexico, you can go to the pharmacies and you don't need a prescription for stuff. All right. Uh, he's gonna pick us up some uh, Viagra. So we're gonna, when you when you come back, we're gonna we're gonna both take a Viagra live on stream and and like talk about what happens during the process. Wait, what? I uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Viagra live on stream, dude. Live I, reaction, a I reaction didn't... video. Dude, I didn't. It's gonna I... get it's gonna get major hits. It's going to get major hits because everyone's always like, how does this work, right? How do you feel when you take it? And we're going to describe the whole process, but in not vulgar detail. All right, don't, don't wear sweatpants, though. And we'll get um, – we're going to have – we'll hook up, like, a blood pressure monitor, right? And we'll just kind of, like – we'll, like, monitor our heart rate, our blood pressure during the whole process. We'll, like – we'll do it very scientifically, right? Okay, um, but uh, rewind. So how come you don't need a prescription for stuff in Mexico? That, that – that sounds like it has its benefits and its drawbacks. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's just how it is, dude. Because, like, uh, antibiotics right now are being prescribed like candy, and they're basically they lo- losing their uh, effectiveness because too many people are using them, and they're not, like, finishing the full course. I think so for some have... stuff you need a prescription, but, yeah, that's, that's, like, the, that's like, the big thing in, in, in Mexico, dude. You can just go and you get whatever you want, pretty that, much. That's going that's to gonna cause, that's gonna cause, like, the bubonic plague part two, man. I don't know. Well, I'm that's not. We're not. Here, we're not taking. Luckily, we're not taking antibiotics live on stream. We're taking Viagra. That's gonna be. I am that's gonna be an upcoming not, episode. Okay. It's gonna be so funny, dude. It's gonna be so okay. funny. <clears throat> Everyone wants to watch that. I'm sure. Um, Are you, you're advertising it? Because, like I'm saying, I, I haven't advertised any of these episodes yet. I'm sure if I started posting on the various web forums, we could get like a couple dozen more views. And then, okay. if, if we have, like, I'm not really advertising. I was uh, yeah. out with my partner the other day and. Uh, her friends were like, "Hey, we heard you have a podcast," and then I really downplayed it because I didn't. I was like embarrassed by it almost. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, well, well <laughs> maybe it's not our it's not our demographic. First of all, I don't I don't think like women in their thirties is our demographic fully. I mean, I'm not I'm not well. I'm maybe not... if your conversation topics weren't inappropriate, this is doing Viagra live on screen. But you know what? Why don't Why don't we let them decide whether or not? Just just have them ch- check true. it out. Uh, leave uh, a right. comment. Next time I will. Um, yeah. Apologies in advance if um, anything offends you. Sorry, yeah. but maybe it won't. Who knows? Yeah, because like, um, I'm just advertising to all my real life uh, friends, but I haven't yeah. posted on uh, SureYouCan.com yet. Yeah. I think I'm going to start doing that soon. Speaking of advertising, um, do you are you ever going to take your son to the beach or to play in the sand or whatever? You know, like I know it's winter right now, right? I know we're in the heart of winter almost late fall i guess okay but are you do you think you'll like bring your son to the beach to play in the sand and stuff sure wait is this a segue to an ad like hold on I, oh absolutely you, jay you, you so <laughs> uh so this brings us to this week's uh show sponsor sand art co 
uh, you can go to sandartco.com. And what they basically do, right, is, you know, like when you like, you play in the sand and you want to make a design, right? Let's say you want to make a letter. Um, you can you can take some wet sand, you can put it into one of these molds by sandartco.com. Um, and you can just like, you know, flop it over and then you'll have like a mold, right? Uh, you used to probably do it with like sand castles and stuff with a bucket. You fill a bucket with sand, you turn it over, oh. you pull up the bucket, leaves, a, leaves like a little tower there, right? Wait, wait, so, so this uh, is like the same thing as that? Yeah, absolutely. But they do like custom designs, right? Oh. They, you have different letters and oh. stuff. If you want to like do a marriage proposal or whatever, you can you can get like all the letters you would need to spell it out and your you know whoever you're proposing to's name. Oh, that's uh, sand cool, art man. Yeah. Sandartco.com. Uh, if you cool. enter the promo code for the lulls, you get fifteen uh, percent off your first order. So oh, Sandartco.com um, for the lulls. Um, now hold on. So you said they do custom stuff. So how, like they can do like really big buckets, I guess. Or uh, bolts. I, you're putting me on the spot here. I don't know the details. I'm just reading what's <laughs> off the sheet, right now, off the off the sponsor sheet. Oh. Um, <laughs> It's okay. It's okay because I'm actually really excited about this product. Sandart, um, sandartco.com. Um, I know I, it's again. I know it's like I know it's like early fall or well late fall and early earlyish winter. So no, probably it's really aren't cool, going uh, to the beach. Well, I, now I'm thinking about like I want to do like a Lord of the Rings type uh, sand battle or something, like maybe the Battle of oh. Helm's Deep. But I, I don't know if they're able to do that. I'm gonna have. To I've never that. I've never read or watched Lord of the Rings. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the. Wait, waiting for like. The, I'm waiting for the 20th anniversary, Wait, just like why I waited for the Matrix. Wait, what? What? I, what? Watched... I just. I just said Wait. it. I've never watched or read, Lord of the Rings, or The Hobbit. So. Any of that stuff. I've now also never read or watched Harry Potter, except for, um, I read part of one of the middle books because I was on a flight and I need something to read. Yeah, I haven't. <clears throat> I haven't watched all the Harry Potters or read the Harry Potters, but I mean, this is Lord of the Rings, bro. It's Lord um, of the Rings. I've only read the Chinese Lord of the Rings, which is uh, Journey to the West and Outlaws of the Marsh. That is not the Chinese Lord of the Rings. The Chinese Flash, Lord of the Rings. Flash the is, water margins. It is Jin Yong. Which are written, in, written Jin, during Jin the Ming Dynasty. Jin Yong is known as the Tolkien of the East. Uh, you, can, you can look uh, it up. You can look it up. I don't know. Even I'll look an it article. Up. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, though. I mean, I no, think. No, it is. It is. It it's, is. Not, it's not as beloved as the, those other Chinese stories. Uh, actually, it's a pretty close tie at this point. All right, so this will be another. This will be another time. Wait, I, I thought this was one of our topics. I thought you were like seamlessly segueing. In, uh, in no, no, I, I, I don't want to get into this debate right now because you're just gonna be trolling me. What, no, um, you're, gonna be, you're, you're the one trolling me because you don't even like Jackie Chan. Like, ugh. Uh, I don't. Uh, that was one of my topics. Terrible celebrities you don't like. Uh, okay, okay. Should, should we, we? Did we? Should we go? Yeah. Into it? Did, did we talk about Neil deGrasse Tyson last time? I found out recently that Neil deGrasse yeah, we, Tyson... we ended on a clickbait, was, and you were going to go on Neil, a rant about how you hate Neil him. Neil deGrasse... Well, I hate him because I, I've i read a lot of things. I mean, you can kind of tell based on his personality. He's really cocky, right? He doesn't... Yeah. I... Uh, I also looked up some random stuff on Reddit about how he... What did he... He, he like, mixed up um, the double slit experiment with Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, right? Which is incorrect. Right. Um, so like, how do you, I don't know how you mix that up. I mean, I teach that, I teach that in freshman chemistry and like students know the difference between the Heisenberg uncertainty principle and double slit experiment. Anyways. Wait, can we go on a quick tangent? Um, well, why do you need to teach the Heisenberg uncertainty principle for chemistry? And, uh, Cause so I, I don't really know any chemistry, so I would, I would, I would like to be educated. Uh, I mean, basically what it kind of breaks down into is that very I mean, it's it's the essence of quantum mechanics, right? It's like, why do we need quantum mechanics to study electrons, right? Why can't we use Newtonian mechanics? Um, it's it's all because. Probability. Uh, what do you mean by that? Everything's probability. <laughs> you, you don't actually know where anything is, or it's speed. correct. Correct. It's all but what Heisenberg's uncertainty principle tells us, right? That is absolutely correct. We don't we don't necessarily know the momentum or the position of any object at any yeah. given time. Yeah. However, for very large objects, that uncertainty compared to the size of the object is negligible, right? So like mm. for you and I, if we're just like walking across the street, I can pretty accurately figure out how fast you're going and where you are at any given time, right? That's why I yeah. don't hit you with my car, for example, when I'm like turning. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, but for an electron, because it's very small, right? It's, um, it's uncertainty and position and momentum has to be relatively high because it's such a small object. 
Hey, I have a quick question because I was talking to my friend about this yesterday. Is it true that, like, let's say one of these electrons, like, could uh -huh. at, at one moment in time just be a hundred thousand miles away, and then the next just be back where I am? Like, what's the range of the uncertainty of the location of the electron? Is that possible? Um, I uh, that's a well. There, there is a limit, right? I think because if you yeah, if you move the electron, if you move an electron to an infinite. Then it has zero, um, uh, zero uh, potential uh, energy. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not a quantum. I'm not like a physical chemist. Oh yeah, me neither. <laughs> uh, but the, but the idea is like if the electron is like super far away, then it has. It's like, you know, it's not associated with that atom anymore. Like that's that you're essentially ripping oh, the electron away. Okay. So okay, it's okay. that's a uh, yeah. The, you have to confine the electron in a certain space, right? Yeah, and that makes more give, sense. You, yeah. Okay. Then you give it a probability of where it could be relative to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because I, I thought my friend was doing some woo-woo science stuff. So, okay. Uh, I think it's it has to be confined. I'm not. Again, I'm not a. I'm not a hardcore physical chemist. So I don't. I, I, I would. I only, the, the, I only know the. I only know the basics. Trust, I only know the basics. I would trust. I've only taken like a couple quantum mechanics courses, like one. I've taken one advanced quantum mechanics course, and I didn't do very well in it because it was very. That, that's one more than me. So. There is a lot of like programming in MATLAB that I like. I don't oh, know. I struggled really? with. Wow. Okay. I'm not. I'm not very good at programming in MATLAB. Yeah. Are you? Uh, no, I've never done it. MATLAB's MATLAB's hard to use. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't. It. Yeah. My, my I never, wife uses it. Yeah. Yeah. I've never so. fully like, never fully like understood all the syntax in it and stuff. Yeah. Um, all right. So back to Neil okay. deGrasse Tyson. So he Neil deGrasse Tyson. He sucks. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, I guess my he's problem. Also he was also part of the. Sorry to interrupt you. He was also part of that Me Too moment because I think he was like. Yeah, he molested uh, somebody. Because like the, I think the, I don't know if I'm remember. I'm not. I'm probably misquoting this, but I think the lady had like a tattoo of the solar system or something, and he like he started touching the solar system. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he, he he's molested. a creepy guy. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a creeper. I think, I think most dudes in general are kind of creepers. Not us, not us. Not no, not us, not us. Come on, we're trying to get your um, your future wife's friends to uh, subscribe to our channel. Come on, yeah. Uh, yeah, my problem with him is I found out, like, because a lot of people think he's a science genius, but the thing is, like, he's only published, like, one paper, maybe two papers tops. So yeah. he's not, like, at least Carl Sagan has done some kind of research. Um, like, I know as a science popularizer, like, you're not supposed, you're not really publishing lots of papers, but, like, he's only published, like, one. And I think it was yeah. for his, his PhD, I guess. So that's All those science, I mean, I really like Bill Nye, but Bill Nye is an asshole, too. Um, from what I've read. Whoa, whoa. I mean, I, I grew up, uh, the reason I'm a scientist is because of Bill Nye, but I also acknowledge that Bill Nye is an asshole. Yeah, but Bill Nye never pretended to be like like yeah. a, a scientist or whatever. Bill Nye's a mechanical engineer. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he, exactly. he's like a science enthusiast, and he's, right, exactly. he's really good at promoting science. He hates kids, um, right? Uh, that was that was like kind of like... Really? Wow. Yeah, that was like, a, yeah. I mean, like, you know, there's like... It's okay. I mean, I, I hate kids too, but I still oh. want kids to understand science. You know? Sure, sure. Okay. Right. Uh, I don't. I don't need. I don't need to like kids to promote science to them. You know? I, uh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know <laughs> if it would be the smartest move to go on a show for kids with tons of kids. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was saying, Bill Nye never pretended to be like a scientist. Like he. Like to me, I always knew he was a science enthusiast. Um, Whereas Neil, like he's he's only published one or two papers most. At least you know because Michio Kaku, like the I don't know if I pronounce his name right, but like he's a science popularizer. But he was fundamental for coming up with string theory. So like you know he he already did that. So that, that's all you really need. Is he did string theory. What did uh? So did you ever watch uh, what was that show that was on Fox that got uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson famous? You know what I'm talking about. You're talking about Cosmos. Cosmos, yes. No, that that, yeah. that was Carl Sagan's. That I know, I know. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. He like did it, right? Yeah, but yeah. I don't. That show didn't make him famous. He was already famous before that. Was he? I didn't. I actually had never heard of him before Cosmos. But that's how a hey. lot of people know him. Wait, really? Oh, okay. I because that's when he I, became popular, right? I mean, that's when he wait, like. Really? I, I, oh, I, I don't know. That's that, like the first I remember hearing about him. Because he was already showing up on the Daily Show and stuff, so that that's how I. Um, I, I never watched. That. I never watched the Daily Show because I didn't. Okay. I didn't have access to Comedy Central easily. Yeah, but like I, I, I don't think like. 
he's not like a super scientist and then he's constantly talking about fields that like see you're saying like you don't know quantum mechanics but like he'll constantly comment on other fields or or he'll oh. say stuff like uh philosophy is useless oh. which you know i i can kind of agree with but i uh, i know my boundaries can. really well yeah exactly, i know exactly. i know what i know and what i don't know like, um, like most there's, PhDs there's... are humble right like you're saying you, you know your boundaries you're yeah. PhDs are very specialized because we're exactly. most of us work on one question or problem for like five years, and so we know we know like the stuff around that really well. Other stuff probably not so well. Right, exactly. Know. Like uh, I know this with my wife; she's very hesitant to comment on other, even though she's like really smart. Like, like she'll she'll like, like, qual- qualify her knowledge. Like how she didn't know that Benadryl is bad for kids, and it was just like a two minute Google. <laughs> I, I didn't ask her yet, but I, I'm so I, I, I'm so glad that you didn't give your son Benadryl. You, I would have well, felt no, so I, bad. I, I know that's not your uh, field of <laughs> expertise, so I didn't. I don't, care. I, oh man! Like um, that, that sounds like something Sam's doctor would would do. It's just like yeah, yeah, just probably. Give the baby Benadryl. Um, I have another example of when I misdiagnose something. Um, I was playing football with one of my my buddies. Um, this is what's what's bad was this was a going away party for him, so because he was moving out of town. Yeah, and. Uh, that we were playing like flag football and he like fell and uh, his shoulder hurt a bunch and so I was like uh, that's probably just fine or his elbow it was his elbow and I was like hey that's probably fine dude just uh, put some ice on it you'll be fine um, and uh, two days later he went to the doctor and it turns out he had like a broken bone in there um, yeah. so yeah don't don't trust what I would say about medical stuff I mean I'm not that again I'm not that kind of doctor I mean I could probably I could probably look up on WebMD and stuff and figure out most stuff out. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. I think so. I think so. Um, yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, can, on the screen. Can you like when you when you go into post edits? Can you make a screen of celebrities that are good and then celebrities that are bad, right? And so put Neil deGrasse Tyson on the bad list. Oh God, no! People like, are gonna call us racist. Though. That's that's what? the problem. Um, okay. Uh, here's another celebrity I don't like: Jackie Chan. Yeah. Wait. Hold on. Okay. I just sing one all right, I gotta go. All right. Are we ending the podcast right now? Uh, yeah, yeah, for now. Okay, one second. Oh my god, dude. Okay, one second. All right, uh, 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 thanks no, we'll, we'll everyone continue. for watching. We'll continue next time. One second. All right, everyone, All right. thanks for watching for the lulls. Uh, see you guys next time. Okay, so we just uh, took a short break of like uh, two weeks. Um, <laughs> let's see, I think when we last left off, uh, you're trying to say that Neil deGrasse Tyson sucks. And then your son start crying. Yeah, I, I might have cut you off there. Because so, he also yeah, hates sorry, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Your son also hates Neil deGrasse oh, Tyson. Jeez, jeez, he's not racist, okay? Stop. stop uh, this is not a race thing at all, I think. <laughs> no, I know, but we have to make that clear because, you know, okay. some people might, might get upset. Like, yeah. my problem. So, let's see. I don't even remember what we said. I think I already went on the rant how he's only published like one paper total. So yeah, and he got like dual slit experiment confused with Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Right, right, right. Um, two two totally different things. He's also so from what I've heard, you know how he like does like um, university talks and stuff. He like is a guest yeah. speaker. Yeah, yeah. Every time he goes, he's like a dick to everyone. He like he won't like pose for pictures and like. He's just, he like has really like outrageous demands and stuff. Like he has, I don't know. I read a bunch of stuff about it on oh, Reddit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, but like, he's like not a cool guy. I mean, but like you can see like how when he's on The Daily Show or The Colbert Report, like he, he'll be like super nice and stuff. So it's like two-faced. So I, I would have thought he's a nice Well, person. I mean, if you're an asshole like to other celebrities, then no one will like you but if you're just an asshole to like people who aren't celebrities that's right 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 you get just away with the people yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, get yeah. away totally totally okay uh, so, so what what were the list of conversation topics for last time well we were mostly like we're we were st- i think the hating neil degrasse tyson got us often as saying like celebrities that you dislike right right and, and then you were you were what about jackie chan you like oh yeah jackie chan sucks too dude he like oh, he's awesome he's, he's an, awesome. what he's an adulterer all, all, so is Tiger Woods. Do you hate Tiger Woods? I do, because he's an adulterer. Well, uh, but then he then redeemed he... himself. But Jackie Chan never admitted fault for like having all these illegitimate children. I'm. <laughs> he was just sure. like, he just like denied it and stuff, and like I don't know. I'm pretty sure like all celebrities have like a tons of illegitimate, illegitimate children though, because I mean they're celebrities. 
They've got uh, like millions of not, women. Not Tom Hanks, dude. Them. Tom Hanks is Tom Hanks is cool. Yeah, that we know of. Like you never know when the next scandal will come out. Uh, I guess. I don't yeah. know. There's. I don't know. I. I'm. Sh- just like there's like people who are assholes. I, do you do you feel like there's an overwhelming amount of celebrity assholes compared to like just like like why do so many celebrities seem like they're dicks? I have no idea because I've never interacted with celebrities. I just assume uh, in the public persona in the interviews they come out as nice, but you know they could be jerks. But I have no idea. I don't know, you just hear all these stories like uh, of all these like terrible celebrities. Um, a celebrity that was really cool from what I've read is uh, Robin Williams. He was like really nice and stuff. Right. Um, to everyone he also was really into uh well his daughter's named zelda so he was obviously like kind of into like uh okay but l- let's 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 go with this thing like yeah robin Williams was nice to everybody and then he killed himself so maybe you shouldn't maybe that, you shouldn't be nice to everybody uh i mean that's a uh, that's a mental health issue that's a that's unrelated no, th- th- think think about it right like as a celebrity you're gonna have tons of annoying people trying to talk to you every day just like random strangers who just want want your time and you know you're just you're just trying to you know take a shit or whatever, like Eminem okay. is saying. He's trying to take a shit, okay. you know. But you know fans are coming up to him, like I I under, okay. So there's a difference between not wanting to like be bothered when you're out just grocery shopping or whatever, trying to go to the bathroom in public. Yeah. Right. And then being like an adulterer and also being like a general asshole to people. But I think they're being a general asshole because like every day they have annoying people who who want something and just won't leave them alone. And, you know, you probably get, like, 200, 300 selfie requests every day if you're a big celebrity. So then you are going to be an asshole. And I don't know. Neil deGrasse Tyson's just, like, I don't know, not not down with that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no celebrities you dislike? No, man, I love Jackie Chan. Like, well, awesome. Okay. Great movies. Well, Does his own uh, stuff. Are his movies good? I mean, Ooh. have you gone back to watch any of them? Rush they're, like, they're, like, okay. Uh, I feel like Chris Tucker kind of really, like, is the one who 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 pulls that movie together? Uh, incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, incorrect. I don't know. I don't know. Incorrect. Okay. Besides Rush Hour, uh, I mean, I go. I've gone back and watched. Like Rumble in the Bronx is okay, I guess. Um, I don't know. They're not very rewatchable for me. Like I used to like watching them when I was a kid because there's a lot of slapstick and stuff. But as an adult, I the guy's a genius, man. Uh, he's, he's a brilliant performer. Uh. Like yeah. with comedy slapsticks, yeah. Brilliant. He really he was really into Buster Keaton from what I recall. What I don't know what that means. What's Buster Keaton? What Buster Keaton is like? Uh, look, Google it really quick. Uh, look it up on the Wikipedia. He's like uh, this famous. Um, he he did a lot. Of, he's you know how like Charlie Chaplin did a lot of like um, physical slapstick kind of comic, not like traditional okay. slapstick like we know like know now, but he did a lot of like the old school stuff. Okay. Old school stunt man as well, uh, in theory, I guess. I don't know what that means, but okay. Well, he did a lot of like interesting, like um. So this is during the silent film era, as I recall. Right, right, right. okay, got it, got it. But he sense. did a lot of like. Uh, are you looking it up? I don't see you looking it up at all. No, I'm not looking it up. It's okay. Risky. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's on Wikipedia, so it's not risky, but okay. <laughs> Why'd you like pull the window like that? That was weird. What do you mean? I don't know. It's fine. Oh, because uh, like your your face was double appearing. It might yeah it might look weird to the viewers because your face is already there. But then, okay. Like, there's a bigger version here. It might cause yeah. confusion. So I just okay. covered it up. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it. So okay. there's no celebrities that you dislike. Like if you were a celebrity, like what would you be like? Would you like? Oh, I'd be an asshole. Try to do... oh, jeez. I, I would be a huge because like come on, do you? In fact, yeah, like, it's probably a good thing our podcast is only getting, like, 10, 10 views per episode. Because yeah. if it did become big, like, just think about, like, all the random weirdos that are just coming up to you and trying to talk to you. Like, that'd be awful, man. No, I'd be fine with it. A lot of people come up and talk to me already anyway since I'm, like, a professor, so. Yeah, but you're going to, like, have to deal with, like, selfie requests 200 times per day. It might be cool, like, the first 10 times, but then, like, <laughs> but then, like the 11th time and someone's trying to tell you their life story and blah, 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 it's like, no. Shut up. Okay. You know, maybe that's why Robin Williams, like, he couldn't take it anymore. Because he was, he was giving too much of himself. 
Mm. And he had nothing left for himself. I think you are yeah. you're mixing up mental health issues with like other stuff. Robin Williams seemed like a genuinely good guy though, based on everything I've read. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite Robin Williams movie? Uh, I I I guess Goodwill Hunting. Uh, that's like I mean that's I feel like that's. Uh, yeah, actually, I, he's like not. Is he like? Do you consider Ron Williams a main lead in that film, or is it really Matt Damon who pulls uh, up? I, they, they, Robin, I mean, Ron Williams Robin has. Williams. I'm not gonna say Rob, I'm not gonna like. I don't want to undersell Ron Williams' contri- contribution to that film. Yeah. Um, like, but the but the scenes with him and Matt Damon are really really good. So like, yeah. Matt Damon has to kind of do his part too. Right. That's true. And there's uh, also that part where he's like, "How do you like them apples?" Right? And he's like, "Wait, I don't, I don't remember that part." <laughs> God, have you ever seen that movie at all, dude? That's yeah, like the most famous scene from that movie. What? No, the scene where I remember. Hey, is do you when... like apples? I I don't. The, the scene I remember what? is what is when uh, Matt Damon <laughs> is is like being a dick and making fun of Robin Williams' wife, and then Robin Williams chokes the shit out of him. That's that's the scene I remember. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I, I thought that was like, the most. He's famous. like, okay, get out. Therapy <laughs> session's over. Yeah. This, this you hilarious. don't remember the scene. Hey, do you like apples? How do you like them apples? When he gets Mini Driver's phone number. Yeah. Oh when yeah, that like, sounds familiar. He yeah, like, yeah, he like, familiar. He like pones all those like frat right. bros. Yeah. You yeah, have no idea what true. I'm talking about. Huh? I, I do know what you're talking about. Because okay. he's trying to get this uh, chick's number and he succeeds. And he's like, right. how do you like them oh. apples? That, that, I know, that sounds dude. familiar now. That seems but like something you would be super into. Because like, what if that no, happened to you someday? That seems like a pretty forgettable scene. The, 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 the scene about Robin Williams choking out Matt Damon. Because his wife died of cancer. That, that's rememberable. Okay. Yeah. Um, have you ever seen Aladdin? What? Aladdin? With the with the genie? Oh, the animated movie. Yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say that's Will Smith. Who plays oh, I've never seen that. Have you seen that movie? No, I haven't. Uh, I, I like Jumanji. Jumanji is good? Yeah, n- not the one with The Rock. but I mean. The, uh, the oh, Williams. what? There's one with Ron Williams? can't tell if you're trolling. <laughs> I was um, trying to troll you, but I think you counter-trolled me. That was good. That was good. Um, it's been uh, a lot of movies. Have you seen um, Dead Poet Society? That's a pretty good one. Oh, yeah. I only watched part of that because um, it got what? spoiled for me. Well, it got spoiled for me. So, like, I didn't, How did it get it, spoiled for you? What well, in that uh, did even get spoiled for you? Well, my my wife likes to post spoilers because like, like what uh, what was the spoiler that she gave you about what, that movie? What the the one of the students kills himself, right? Yeah, but that's not like the main so idea of that film. That seems that's like because like, Red, like, Red Foreman is like an asshole dad because I guess he always plays an asshole dad. And, he's he's a military guy, yeah. Yeah, and then Eric Foreman kills himself. The Eric uh, it's not Eric Foreman. Movie. It's it's well, the yeah, doctor. House it's MD. The... Have you ever watched House? Have you ever seen House? No. No. You never watched House MD. Oh wait, House kills himself. No, so, dude. Uh, ha- like, so you know, have you ever seen House? Yeah. So are you saying the actor who plays House kills himself? No, no, no. In Dead it's not. Poets, no, society? dude. No, it's not. Okay. It's the. It's his friend. His friend who's okay. the oncologist. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. No, I, I don't watch House. Okay. Why did you even bring it up then? <laughs> or why did no. you keep going? Let me keep going on that. <laughs> You're the one who brought House. I was. I was just saying, like, like I just read the spoilers. Read for him. You know. Yeah, there's a lot of celebrities in that film actually. Ethan Hawke's in it from uh, Training Day. Okay. Uh, Robin Williams, the guy yeah. who plays the oncologist on House MD, Red Foreman. Yeah, I mean, I I don't really follow much celebrities, as you can tell. Like, yeah. I, I don't you know, know who this. Who I follow all celebrities, is. so I can know which ones are assholes and which ones are not. Assholes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Actually, now, now I know who I hate. Um, I hate Kim Kardashian and basically the entire. Well, like, any family. reality celebrity is bad, obviously. That's... No, but I mean they're incredibly popular, but they're just like corrupting the next generation of youth. Like it's just they're just like bad people. They don't do anything. They're not delivering any value. They're just correct. Do you, Do you know who the Paul brothers are? Like Logan and something Paul. Uh, what's the other guy? Yeah, aren't they YouTube celebrities? Yeah, and they're like terrible people. One of them like was super racist, and he went to Japan and like filmed someone who had committed suicide or something. Okay, see, like I, I there was a lot of. SJW outrage, but like I, I don't really see what the point. Like, I mean, the guy killed himself, so you know. 
I don't know, he shouldn't be. He was filming it and then making fun of it, I think. The, uh, the guy killed himself, so, like, what? He's got no say left. I mean, he's dead. Uh, like, I feel like he yourself. shouldn't. I don't think no, he should, like, film you, it, but on if YouTube. If you killed yourself, you obviously don't care, like, what happens afterwards, because, you know, you pieced out. So, like, who cares? Uh, I don't think it's okay to film and put on YouTube. Why, 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 why? No, he didn't, like, film him killing himself, though. No, but he Just... filmed his body and stuff and made a bunch of yeah. comments. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, like, okay, if, if I... If I like jumped off a bridge or whatever, like at that point, I don't really care what people do with my body afterwards. Oh, I would make sure that no one makes fun of you. I think I'd, no. I'd do that much for you. They could pee on it because I'd be out, you know. Uh, I don't I'm think on. you feel that way. I don't think you feel that way. No, man, because uh, I'll be gone. I'm like, wait, oh, are you are you religious? Is that why? No, I'm like, not, you think, not, uh, not religious. We talked about this last time. Remember, I asked you yeah. if you went to church ever, and I told yeah. you I've never been. Right, because once I you die, know. you die. You're you're gone, I don't man. Know. Anyways, the the Jake and Logan Paul are terrible celebrities. Um, uh, I also I also just okay. like them a lot. Um, I also don't like the Fung Bros. Um, Whoa. I don't Whoa. like. Uh, Whoa. What? Whoa. What do you mean you don't like the Fung Bros? I don't know. I don't think they like they have anything insightful to share. They like just spread like crap as well, like on social media. Like I don't that. know. Uh, I don't. They just like they. There's this like culture nowadays that like i really dislike where people um it's i think it's just like kids nowadays i just dislike i don't know i don't know how to describe it it's maybe i'm like generalizing too much but they i i need an example though like what the fun bros did that upset you they they post like they post these videos like that seem really materialistic i think like hey check out check out these new shoes um check out uh, check oh, out I got this. You. I got you. Yeah, check yeah, out yeah, this yeah. like awesome. Like you know what I really hate. I like eating more than like just as much as anyone else. But I hate that people take photos of. And I take photos of my food, but I don't post it online. Yeah, I agree. I, hate, I agree. I hate that you're people. You're talking about Instagram. Uh, like, that just that Instagram. whole culture like of yes, the whole culture yeah, we, of oversharing. I think I really dislike. Maybe we, that's we talked what. about. We talked about Instagram is cancer. So yeah, okay. I, I think I. It's like kind of on the same yeah, same yeah. like wavelength as that, where people yeah. are like like to post like stuff. I I like to eat, um, but I I still feel that if you were to give me like a tube of nutrients each day, I would just rather eat that for every meal. Uh, okay. <laughs> and I you know like I I think I have a different opinion about food than most people. Like people like people make this big deal about how every meal should be like. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like this food culture that has arisen, where people are like, "Oh my God, look at this amazing meal that I'm having," and they take a photo I, of it. I, I, I eat Burger King, bro. It's fucking it's lit. So I just, I just want someone to develop Soylent Green in real life without people. And do you know what you know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. This so like, so really Soylent Green's like a cult film. Anyways, um, like a cult favorite film. Uh, it's like a classic movie. Anyways, uh. I just want someone to develop this tube, right, with all the nutrients that I would need for the day, and I would just be able to squeeze that tube into my mouth and swallow it, and then I would be fine for every meal, and that would save hell of time. I wouldn't have to like cook anything. I would just like get all my my proteins and macros, and I'd just be good, dude. I don't think so, man. No, dude, I do. I, that's what I, I want. I don't think so because that's what I want, dude. Because yeah, science might say they develop something like that, but like, how would you know, right? Because vegetables, like I've been saying, have been time tested for like tens of thousands of years of evolution. Oh crap! Your video's over. All right, we'll just move on to the next one again. Yeah. Um, I just want so like, what if someone just cooked all these vegetables and all this protein and put it into a blender? and blend it all up. Like, what if you could just eat what you will soon be purchasing for your son, but for adults? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think you lose something if you don't, like, eat the ingredients fresh. Like, if you if you just develop a pill that... You're, so you're talking about some kind of pill that would just have all of the... I don't think... Uh, I, macros, well, I don't think right? I need it fresh, dude. I think some of that stuff wouldn't break... I don't think a lot of that stuff breaks down over time. So I think it'd be fine. Well, I'm, I'm saying there's there's probably, like, a lot of stuff in vegetables and fruits that we don't know about so it's it's more than just like their nutritional value there's probably like additional additional things that are going on there 
Well, what uh, if you just what if you just took all that fresh stuff and you blended it up and then you like preserved it perfectly, and so then I'm, I don't have to can, chew can, it. Can you it, can you preserve I, it perfectly though? I don't know. I mean, like, it has no flavor, see, that, that, and I just, squeeze, I just go like this, and then like I'm done with the meal. But that's and the thing, I, right? Like all the calories, everything I need is is done for the day. But if there were any negative consequences of that, you would like those wouldn't manifest themselves until like years later. By which point it'll be too late. Versus like you know it's safe to eat, you know, you know it's good to eat fruits and vegetables now. But like if they put it in a pill form, like even if the FDA approves it, I just want a tube, dude. I just want a tube of like blended up food so I can just eat it really quick. Would you, you trust know? it though? Would you trust? Would you trust? Okay. Like, okay. What if? What if I just took some cabbage and some chicken and some rice and I cooked it right now and I blended it up? Would you just like? And you could drink that down in like two minutes. Yeah, that, that's different because like I saw you do that. But like, let's say some company selling it. Like, why would you trust the company? Like, do do you know? Why do you Why do you trust Burger King to not give you E. coli? Well, I I already know Burger King's not the best food. But... Okay, but and you, also you I mean it, they you eat it still. They they flame flame broil their whoppers so you know like all the E. coli dead. It's only like when you try to order a burger medium uh, rare. Right? What if they're not actually? How do you know they're actually flame broiling it? What if they're it looks like, pretty flame broiled to me, man. Well, pretty, I mean, you, I, you can say the same for any food, right? That product you buy, you don't you can't trust anything. Yeah, but. yeah, but okay. Here's here's the thing. Like when I eat Burger King, I'm not thinking like it's super nutritious. But like, let's say some company does make this super pill you're talking about, and they say, oh, it's super nutritious, super good. Like how do, how do you know they're not? lying versus like if you eat fruits and vegetables you know like okay this is pretty nutritious versus you're just eating a pill you don't it's like you heard of theranos right i dude okay the food industry is the whole fucking scam anyway so you you can't trust and like you know that when you buy chicken it's like it's not act, like when they sell right. you like right but so you just have to take their word for it i mean it's not like you're you're bringing up this whole can of worms where it's like oh you can't trust anyone so now now I like you have to cook. It. You don't. You don't cook everything yourself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that, that's why I'm not living healthy. But what I'm saying is, I if they did come up with that pill, I'd be a lot more suspicious of that pill than I would like. I know if I buy chicken, sure, it's probably been raised in inhumane conditions. But like a a chicken pill, that that, that seems even scary. I, I just to me. I just want a tube of nutrients. Dude, that's all I'm saying. I think everyone should just eat tubes of nutrients. Yeah, I see that. That would just be too scary for me because it's mm. like. Well, I don't know. I mean, let's just say that it. I mean, let's say it's it's done by Bill Gates, and, and so it's fine. Like, would you do that over eating? Let, let me ask you that, right? Let's say like you have the option of having to cook every day for the rest of your life and eating Burger King, or you get much more nutrition from this tube. I, I think it's a good idea, but like that's what I'm saying. It's like any negative effects from just eating eating this magic pill you're talking about. It wouldn't show up until like many decades later, at which point it's too late. Right? Dude, I don't know. This is not even. Uh, I don't know why you keep. Why are you like have some fear of things for some reason? I just. I'm all I'm saying is, I just want my food to come. Okay, well, okay. How, how about, like, w would you take a pill that basically you take this pill, you don't need to sleep anymore? Well, would you take it? Would... Um, no, because I need rest. But I know like. Nutritionally, no, I need certain nutrients. What What if there's a pill that basically, like, just eliminates the need for sleep? Um, I would do it. You would do it. Mhm. Mm but that's what I'm trying to say. There could be harmful I hate, side I hate effects. sleeping, dude. I hate sleeping, dude. There could be harmful side effects to like taking these kind of pills that they're not going to show up until much later because we there's just too much we don't know. Okay. About. Well, I'm all I'm talking about is this basic food, right? I don't know why you keep trying to make it more complex than it needs to be. All I'm talking about is I'm just taking food. I'm taking like I'm taking this like food culture whole phenomenon out of the picture, and it's just like we don't need to take pictures of our fucking food anymore. We just like we just eat eat this like slop, and then it provides all the nutrients that we need. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. Like, again, like my problem with it is the trust. So I, I get the angle. What do you not from. trust about food? Like I don't understand. No, I'm telling. It's like you're 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 talking about some magic pill that has all the nutrients. I'm not talking about a magic pill. I'm talking about like if we just took food and we blended it up, and then we didn't have to like have. And and then preserved it perfectly somehow, and and then put it what in a tube. I don't know. It. I don't know what form it's gonna be in. I'm just saying that I would take all the nutrients. Let's just say it's a paste, and I put in all the nutrients that anyone would possibly need. Okay, yeah, if I saw you prepare it, then yeah, I, I would take it for throughout the week. That's fine. It would save me a bunch of time. That's all I'm saying. That's all yeah, I'm yeah. saying. I'm not yeah. saying, like, 
It's just I'm just taking the eating component of 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 food. Like you know what I mean? I'm just taking the eating component out of it. No, I, I do know. Like I I hate Instagram, right? Like we were talking about um, in one of the episodes. I was saying Instagram is a cancer because everyone's posting their food food selfies. It's gross. Or they're posting status things. Like Instagram is way more about status than Facebook is. Like that you're gonna post your car, your shoes, your you know whatever, your food, to basically show that you have this awesome life. Yeah, and I don't know. So yeah, I, I I get what you're saying. So like the the tube thing would fix that, but it wouldn't fix uh, people posting photos of them. I don't like, know. Driving That's... some fancy car or whatever. Sure. Yeah. That's not the problem, right? Yeah, I don't know. This is no, but that, that's what the problem you had with the Fung Brothers, right? You said they post materialistic yeah. stuff. I mean, that, yeah. that's what in- Instagram is. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't think it's confined to them. It's like it's just I don't know. They just further this terrible culture. So no, but but they post funny videos like ten things Asian parents say. It's <laughs> so know. good. So I good. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Do you? Ever, I I hate when I also I hate a lot of things. Um, Maybe this will get me drunk. I also dislike when comedians uh, play up the race card a lot. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't want you to get fired, bro. Uh, it's, well, people. okay. Do you know that comedian Dat Fan? Yeah. And he won, like, that guy was not good, I will say. <laughs> I thought it was good. He just repeated his jokes. And I hear my baby crying. So. <laughs> okay. All right. no, I think I think this is good. We have enough for a full episode. This this ended. I feel like there was very low energy in the end of this episode. I we apologize to all the listeners. Uh, we'll be back in. Don't apologize. This was a fantastic episode. We'll, we'll be back as usual. And, and so Jay and can, I hate. Can you can work. you can you hear the baby crying in the background? Yes, I can. Yeah, this is terrible. All right, all right, I gotta go. All right. So when are you gonna baby be back calls. for another episode? Uh, either in ten minutes or ten days. Okay. Fine. Stay tuned to find out. Okay. Gotta go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye. <laughs>